Hello, we are the Reese's. I am Jason, and this is Jill. And so, who are you? <laughs> what do you do? Yes, I'm Jill, uh, married to Jason. Um, um, I was did consider myself a retired housewife, uh, but since lockdown, I've become full time carer again. Uh, so we made the decision to bring our learning disabled son home um, to make sure that he still had plenty to do during the lockdown. My name is Jason, as you've probably gathered. Um, so I am Chief Technical, Technical Officer for a small biotech startup in Poland. Um, and also, since we've moved, Chief Plumber, Electrician, um, Ventilation Engineer, and all kinds of other DIY bits and pieces that we're doing around the new house. So what will you be doing this time tomorrow, dear? This time tomorrow, I'll be helping my son to plan his day. Um, the day always begins when he wakes up and he asks, what are we having for dinner? Mm. Uh, but we generally try and plan things which aren't all connected with food. And um, I shall continue to be cleaning this house and unpacking the boxes. Uh, and this time tomorrow, I will be working. Um, my work um, is mostly remote. Um, even from when I started I've been working there for about a year and a half so when lockdown happened it actually wasn't too much of a shock but I, I typically would have traveled to them once every four or five weeks which obviously hasn't happened so far so we have lots of online meetings and chat and all the other bits and pieces so yes I will be at work tomorrow and what were you doing during lockdown during lockdown, um, I was helping my son to plan his day, deciding what to have for dinner, uh, cleaning and doing a lot of packing up. And he actually was very helpful um, with our preparations for moving. Um, we didn't expect him to cope as well as he did, but I think it's been a, a really interesting experience for him. What was I doing during lockdown? Well, I was working. Um, work really didn't let up very much. Uh, one of the things that we did do together, or all three of us, was we we went out for a walk nearly every day up to the university, um, which was really nice. Um, and it's curious now that lockdown seems to be easing, that we're doing less of that, or I'm certainly doing less of that, which is not such a good thing. And what are you looking forward to doing in this new reality? I'm really looking forward to getting my hair cut and over the weekend we're seeing most of our children and grandchildren um, at various times and I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the thing that we've, or certainly that I've missed, is definitely the social aspect of, of seeing friends and family. So the things we're really looking forward to are seeing family, going out to restaurants with friends, going to church going to the pub, um, all the general social things, which uh, hopefully will come back in relatively soon. And what encouragement can you offer people? Uh, my encouragement would be to uh, be kind to yourself, uh, be honest with yourself and others. It's okay to, to feel quite overwhelmed by what's happened, uh, to feel challenged by all the suffering in the world and wondering just what what we personally can do about it and just doing what we can where we can but sometimes um, I can feel quite failed and ineffective and I have to remember to trust in God and um, I've got some verses from Hebrews that I really like I find them very encouraging and it's in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 therefore since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Thank you. Um, yeah, I suppose similarly, I've, I've found the lockdown hard. Um, it is um, socially just being quite isolated from work and from friends has been difficult. Um, 
and can be quite uh, depressing. So there's a couple of pieces that uh, I always like in the Bible, and they are 1 Kings 19, where Elijah is has had this fantastic mountaintop experience with uh, defeating the priests of Baal, and then he runs off into the desert because he's afraid, effectively, and God comes and looks after him. It isn't God chasing him or telling him off. It's just gently looking after him and encouraging him. And the other one is the end of the Gospel of John, where Jesus reinstates Peter. And again, it's just a very gentle, uh, just a one-to-one a -one conversation with God. Uh, he's looking after you, which is really wonderful. And I think that's something that maybe we all need. It's easy to have the grand schemes and plans and action and all the rest of it, but sometimes it does need to be a very simple, intimate conversation with God. And that's us, I think. Mm. Amen. <laughs>